Welcome to another race of the NR 2003 Winston Cup Series season. I'm in 4 and today I'll bring you full coverage of tonight's race. I'm here at the Daytona National Speedway here in Daytona Beach, Florida for the running of the Pepsi 400. James Silver Fox and Ryan Richards will start on the front row for tonight's race. Let's get this 16 lap race underway. Drivers, start your engines! And that was the command to start the engines. Let's give you the top 10 starting lineups. James Silver Fox will start on the pole with Ryan Richards up to his outside. Tyler Prudente and Jaron Calabidin will start in row 2. Row 3, we have Jesse Ogeen and Cole Daly. Row 4, we have Joshua Collard and Zachary Lombard. And row number 5, we have Bruce Viviani and Dylan Young. So James Silver Fox will start on the pole for tonight's race. How about let's... Um, let's go to our Daytona 500 champion Ricky Kennedy now last time we came here at Daytona Ricky Kennedy won the Daytona 500 can he sweep the Daytona races this season we will find out in 16 laps uh, points leader Justin Perry will start 14th and starting in the very back last week's winner Joseph Lombard from Sonoma will start 42nd so, going from the win at Sonoma to starting dead last here at Daytona tonight, that's where he is. But, you know what? It doesn't, it's not where you start, it's not where you qualify, it's where you finish. And Ricky Kennedy, that starts 12th, he could become the repeat winner of Daytona. Can he sweep Daytona this season? He's the only repeat winner this season, Ricky Kennedy is. He also won Richmond. No one has, else has repeated. Can someone else repeat their win? Or can someone else get their first win in the season? We're about to find out in 16 laps. Once again, James Silverfox on the pole with Ryan Richards to his outside. We're about to find out who will take the checker flag here at Daytona tonight once 16 laps is completed. And it's going to be an exciting race, too. The Daytona 500 was exciting. Talladega was exciting. Tal uh, Ty Nonnen won Talladega. Can you make it two restricted plate races in a row? Wins in a row. Pace cars off. 16 last year at Daytona. James Silverfox and Ryan Richards will lead them down to the green flag. Green flag is out, and we are underway here at Daytona. Coming off four, it basically takes these cars about a lap to get up to full speed. James Silverfox will lead the first lap of this race. Here comes Jesse O'Gain for the second spot. Not quite there. Tyler Prudente did get the second spot away from Ryan Richards. Ryan Richards is up to that outside lane. There you see up there. About to drop the fifth. Looks like we're going to have a battle for the race lead. Here comes Tyler Prudente to the inside of James Silverfox for the race lead. Jesse O'Gean and Joshua Collar is going to follow in. Coming off turn four once again. 14 laps to go. Look at that three wide back there. 14 to go. Wow, look at this, three wide, look at Zoe Mudd to the inside, making it three wide for fourth. Zoe Mudd won Charlotte. Look at James Silverfox getting stuck up to the outside, that's basically where you do not want to be, because you got no help. Zoe Mudd going for the third spot on Joshua Collard. Wow, did you see that? Joshua Collard was thinking about going to the inside of Jesse Kohler, but Jesse Kohler already thought about making the move. And he's going for the lead on Tyler Prudente. 
Jesse Kohler in that 45 car. And Steven Gonzalez, Tim Figo's coming into the mix. Look at Zoe Mudd. 13 laps to go here at Daytona. As Zoe Mudd goes for the race lead. Look at Zachary Lombard in the 48. In the sucker hole. Stuck in the middle. No help. Zoe Mudd has to lead. Jesse Kohler second. Steven Gonzalez third. Tim Figo four. Jesse Ogin fifth. Steven Gonzalez Look, think about looking on the inside of Jesse Cola. Cannot do it right now. Tim Fiegel won at Michigan a couple races ago. He's in fourth. Here comes Tim Welch in the, for the fifth spot. Cole Daly is stuck way up to the outside. Here comes Steven Gonzalez for the second spot. Still three wide back in the pack. Whoa! Steven Gonzalez going for the race lead on Zoe Mudd. And Jesse Kohler gets sucked up to the outside. So Steven Gonzalez going for the lead with Tim Welch there behind him. And James Dunn in the 30 car for third. Three wide for fourth. Look at Seth Cole in the 23 car. And Cole, Cody Lamas in the mix. Tim Fiegel gets stuck up to the outside. Joshua Collar as well. Here comes Seth Kohler for the... S Did I say Seth Kohler? Seth Cole. Joseph, you're drunk. Go home. Seth Cole for the second spot. So Steven Gonzalez leading. Seth Cole second. Cody Lamas in third. Here comes Dylan Young and Robert Henney for the fourth and fifth. Here comes Dylan Young for the fourth spot. Robert Henney for the fifth spot. We're coming to ten laps to go this time by. Looks like Tim Fico and Joshua Call are still up to the very outside. Here comes Dylan Young for the third spot. Ten laps to go here at Daytona. Oh, Dylan Young going for the second spot now. Adam Akers and Chris Dalton coming into the mix. Here comes Dylan Young for the race lead on Steven Gonzalez. With 10 laps to go, Robert Henney and Adam Akers is going to follow in through. Nick Piombo is coming into the mix. He won a few races ago back at Pocono. He's coming into the mix. Here comes Adam Akers for the second spot. Nine to go. James Dunn is stuck in the middle. Remember Jesse Kohler was shuffled up to the outside a few laps ago. There he is in the 45 car. He's back into the mix. Here, come, here comes Chris Dollerton for the second spot. Trying to pass on the makers. Looks like Jesse Kohler is going to follow him. Coming to eight laps to go this time by. Three wide back in the pack. Here comes Chris Dollington for the race lead with eight laps to go. Jesse Kohler is going to follow him. And look who's also coming into the mix. Joshua Mudd in the eight car. Remember, Zoe Mudd and Josh Mudd are related. Zoe Mudd was up here in the lead a few laps ago. Now it looks like Joshua Mudd wants to try to uh, battle it for the race lead. Here comes Joshua Mudd for the second spot. In that eight car. Joshua Paul Wickets. And there's two teammates behind him. Bruce Viviani and Mike West. Both for it, both Everham cars. Here comes Joshua Paul Bowicks for the second spot, passing Joshua Mudd. Seven to go. Look like Caleb Phillips got. Oh no, he got back in line. Oh look at this, three wide for third. 
And look at Joshua Munt getting sucked up to the outside. No, no help up there. That's unfortunate for him. Look at this bow back here. Dylan Poteet and Jesse O'Gean coming into the mix. Zoe Mudd's coming back into this mix as well. Mike West for the second spot. Jesse O'Gean going to follow in through. Six laps to go here at, here at Daytona. There's Dylan Poteet for the fourth spot. Here comes Jesse O'Gean for the second spot. Passing Mike West. Chris Dollerton has led the last two laps. He stays up there. He might have a chance to win. He may be one of the favorites to win. Tell you what, Chris Dollerton may be one of the favorites to win because cars like keep passing him side by side behind him. Dylan Poteet going for the second spot. Zoe Mudd, and there's points leader Justin Perry in the fourth spot. Here comes Zoe Mudd with five laps to go. Zoe Mudd goes for the second spot. Justin Perry and Caleb Phillips going to follow him. Here comes Zoe Mudd for the race lead with five laps to go. Three wide behind him. Here comes Shane Vonnado for the fourth spot. And Dylan Poteet gets sucked up to the outside. No help. Here comes Shane Varnado for a second. Daniel Smith and Charles Jackson going to follow them through. Stephen Gonzalez is back into this. Ty Nonnen, that one at Tyler Day, is trying to go for two restricted plate wins in a row. Justin Perry, stuck up to the outside. Four laps to go here at Daytona. Can Zoe Mudd make it two wins this season? Comes Charles Jackson for the... Uh, nope. Looked like he was going to go for the third spot. Here comes Charles Jackson. Oh, but for the race lead, here comes Shane Varnado in the 99 car for the race lead. Charles Jackson, Steven Gonzalez follows him. Three laps to go this time by here at Daytona. Three to go. Here comes Steven Gonzalez for the second spot. Doesn't do it though. There's Ty Nunn in the fourth spot. Ryan Mayer in the fifth spot. Ryan Mara started on the last row. Here comes Charles Jackson for the race lead. And Ty Nunn going for second. As we're going to come to two laps to go this time by. Two to go. Here at Daytona. Here comes Ryan Marin for the second spot. Maybe. Oh, can't do it. Ty Nine gets right back down in front of him. Luke, who's also coming into the mix. Not only Jesse Kohler, he's back in this, but Joseph Lombard going for the fifth spot. Joseph Lombard won last weekend at Sonoma. Can he make it two in a row today, tonight? Here comes Ryan Marin for second. Charles Jackson, remember he was leading with three laps to go at Michigan. All of a sudden had a problem with the car. Can he hold on for one more lap here at Daytona to get the win? White flag is out. Final lap here at Daytona. What's going to happen? Here comes Joseph Lombard for the second spot on Ryan Marin. He wants to try to win. Can he be the second repeat winner? Can he be the first back-to-back -back winner this season? Looks like he won't do it because here comes Jesse Kohler. Jesse O'Gean, I mean, to the inside of Joseph Lombard. Charles Jackson's got about half a lap away from getting his first win this season. He, 
This might get interesting, coming down to the checker flag. Coming off turn number four. Charles Jackson in the 16 Granger Ford will win the Pepsi 400 here at Daytona. Redemption tonight for Charles Jackson. What a win for him. Jesse O'Gain second. RJ Bishop third. Ryan Richards fourth. And Cole Daly will finish in the top five. But congratulations to Charles Jackson on winning the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Remember, like I mentioned a couple races ago at Michigan, he was leading with three laps to go. All of a sudden, and it looked like it was going to be his win at Michigan. All of a sudden, a problem with the race car, and he finished dead last at Michigan after what he could have won, but yet something went wrong with the car, and he got redemption tonight. Two races later. What a win for Charles Jackson. Points leader Justin Perry will finish 20th. Daytona 500 champion uh, Ricky Kennedy will finish 37th. Does not get another win here at Daytona tonight. So let's check the race results. Charles Jackson is your winner tonight here at Daytona. Jesse O'Gain second. RJ Bishop third. Ryan Richards fourth. Cole Daly fifth. Joseph Lombard looked like he had a chance to be a back-to-back -back winner tonight and a repeat winner tonight. He finishes sixth. Mike West seventh. Ryan Marin eighth. Nick Piombo ninth. And Ty Nonnen finishes in the top ten. Shane Varando eleventh. Steven Gonzalez thirteenth. Zoe Mike fifteenth. Jesse Cole is sixteenth. Cody Lamas nineteenth. And points leader Justin Perry will finish twentieth. Adam Akers, 21st. Zachary Lomer, 23rd. Joshua Bowick is 24th. Paul Sitter, James Silfoss will finish 25th today. Dylan Poteet, 26th. Danny Welsh, 27th. Tim Figo, 28th. Bruce Viviani, 29th. And Tim Welsh finishes 30th. Joshua Mudd, 31st. Jaron Calabin, 33rd. Trent Dunn, 34th. Seth Cole, 35th. Ricky Kennedy, Daytona 500 champion, will finish 37th. And... Brian Pasternak, 40th. Tyler Prudente, 41st. And William Cervantes will finish last tonight, 42nd. So, in the bottom right is the point stakes. Now, look at this. Look who's making a big, big move in the point stakes last few races. Justin Perry now has the points lead by 129 points over Joseph Lombard. Joseph Lombard was outside the top 10 in points before Charlotte. Look at that. Now he's second in points behind Justin Perry. Third in points, Caleb Phillips, 138 back. RJ Bishop, fourth in points, 148 back. And Jared Kelvin, fifth in points, 186 back. Charles Jackson with his win tonight is seventh in points, 260 back. And Steven Gonzalez rounds up the top 10 in points, 281 points back. So congratulations to Charles Jackson on winning the Pepsi 400 here at Daytona. The next race, folks, is going to be at Chicagoland Speedway for the running of the Tropicana 400 for race 18 of 36. Folks, we will see you at Chicagoland.